Hey, what's up? Time for another mass transit commute. So I'm going to talk about raw JSON. This is a question that comes up a lot, and I was kind of browsing through, and I thought it'd be a good one. A lot of people want to just send raw JSON. Maybe they have an external application, something that's bringing data in, and it isn't in a mass transit envelope format. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, here I have a simple record defined location update, and that update just has a string and a couple ints, device ID, X, and Y. I've created a consumer for that with the location update consumer, and it's just very simple. It's just going to write out what it receives as a message. Now to support raw JSON, we have to tell the serializer a couple of things. And I'm going to do this because typically in these cases, um, the messages are coming in through an exchange on the broker that isn't necessarily using a message type or anything. So I'm going to bind to it explicitly. I'm going to turn off the consumer auto binding. So a couple of slick features here. Um, so within the location update consumer, I just write it out. The location update consumer definition, this is used when you add the consumers through the container configuration to configure that receive endpoint for this consumer. And in this case, I'm going to tell it that I want to configure consume topology as false. This will tell the receive endpoint when it's configured not to bind the message types from the consumer to exchanges on the broker or topics if you're using another broker. Um, and then I'm going to configure this by saying use raw JSON serializer. And this is going to allow me to read that raw JSON without the message envelope. Um, because this is RabbitMQ, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to say rabbitmq.bind device dash updates. And that's going to be the exchange that I'm going to send my message to using the RabbitMQ management console. So I'm going to run this. And while that's starting up, I'm going to go and grab my simple message here, which is just a little block of JSON. And I'm going to go to my exchanges. So here in the exchanges, you can see I have a device updates exchange. And I'm going to publish a message to it. Now I'm going to set some properties. I'm going to set the content type to application JSON. I'm going to drop the payload in there. And I'm going to hit publish. That's going to throw that message out. And if I go look in the log here, I can actually see that location was updated and it says, you know, J whatever, 640 by 480. So it took and it was able to read and consume that raw JSON. You can even see that it received the message from the queue that we're at. The way the broker gets set up on this is if I, if I look at the device updates, that bind bound me to that input exchange, which then goes to the queue for that consumer. So everything is wired up underneath. Everything is great. Um, yeah, so that's how you do raw JSON consumption. Um, one of the things that people often run into is they say, well, that's great, but it's an existing app and they aren't setting the content type. They're just dropping the message in there and producing it. And if you try to do that right now, if I go in here, we'll see an error that it couldn't deserialize the message envelope. And that's because if there's no content type in there, it returns and uses the default deserializer which in the case of the current configuration is JSON because we're just adding the raw JSON serializer to it. So if I want to get around that, I can do endpoint configurator.clear message deserializers. And what's that do is yeah, that's going to take off all the other supported deserializers and now I only have raw JSON. So if I come in here and run this again, I'll see that it'll start up. All the same endpoints are set up. It doesn't look any different here. But when I go to that exchange and I go to paste that payload, now when I go in here, we can see that it was processed. And that's because it wasn't just assuming a default serializer because the only serializer on the endpoint is the raw JSON one. It's going to use that to deserialize the message. So that's how we do raw JSON with mass transit. Um, I don't think there's any other edge cases. There are some weird things when you go to publish messages from this. In fact, I found a bug writing this sample, so I'll fix that. But um, the one other piece that I wanted to touch on, ah, yes. Um, because there are no message headers in the message envelope, the raw JSON deserializer will surface the transport headers to the message. So, and I don't know if I want to dig into this because I'm almost at five minutes. So just recognize that any headers in the transport, and those are specified in here within this headers collection, if I had to put a value in there, I could have accessed that through the consume context headers collection. So just be aware that that's a thing. Um, anyway, raw JSON, right out of the box. You can use it to bring in data from other applications if you don't want to format an envelope. And thanks for joining.